God was very lonely just floating in water before there was ever light, before there was ever anything. He was just out there floating, hovering above the waters. Now, he made this earth for himself, but also for his wife. And this series is going to help explain that this is the only way that it worked. Okay, you can't be mad at how God made this for him. Okay, if he made it to where he'll have a black woman as his wife, and he said he was good, who are y'all? Who is his creation to tell him he wrong for that? So, he, this is the only way that he saw that it would be able to make sense anyway. And that's what it was done. So, let's dive into how he created this. Understand that before anything, it was just water. Okay, when you go into space, it's actually water out there. When you read your Bible, it's going to say the watery deep, the surface of the deep. He was hovering over the surface of the waters. It was, it's nothing but water before anything. He made the visible from the invisible. He pulled it from it. So keep that in mind. You can feel water without seeing it. Okay, without that light being made first, you wouldn't be able to see the water. So it's invisible. Imagine that you were just floating in nothing. You need to see first, right? Then you, now that you made light, it's covering everything just like it was at nighttime. So you got to separate that thing. Now you're separated. Now you need to divide that water because it was just nothing but water. The top and bottom was nothing but water. Now you got to make a sky to divide the top and bottom waters. You're going to make the oceans that's on the bottom. Divide it. Then you're going to make land appear. When you got that land, you're going to make that land produce fruits and vegetables. Then after that, you're going to need, you need stars and luminaries or light sources to be able to distinguish that light from darkness because he made uh, light and darkness to separate, to not be able to mix. And so they're floating around that water, wherever the darkness go, the light going to go the opposite because it's a separation. And we need something, those lights, stars, sun and moon to be able to help uh, tell us when it's going to be night or daytime because it's nothing but water in space and it's floating about. It's going to be a constant moving back, you know, and, you know, swishing around of those the day and night.